Hey guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about the integers and some of the built-in functions for integers in Python. Integer is just a numeric value. So anything that contains a number is an integer like phone numbers, ID, zip code, account number and so on. And when the number has some decimal points, then we call them float values. And for those numeric values, either it's integer or float, we have some of the built-in function for them in Python. So let's see some of the built-in functions. Let's create a variable named first num and let's give it a value of 3. And let's create another variable named second num and let's give it a value of 8. So to compare these two values, we can use mean function and max function. So if we print mean and then pass these two variables, so this mean function will compare these two values and returns the minimum value or the lowest value. So here we are comparing first num and second num, so 3 and 8. Then this mean function will compare 3 and 8 and returns the lowest value that is 3. So if we print this, then it will return 3. And like this, we can use max function and this will return the maximum value. So it will return 8. There we go. So that was mean function and max function. Another we have round function. This round function is for the float values, so for the decimal numbers, and it will simply round up the number. So let's say we have a number equals 3.123. So this is a float value. And now if we print the round value of this number, then it prints 3 but now if we change this 1 into 7 and try to print it again now it's printing 4 because it is rounding up the number so it is helpful to change the float values into integer values next we have absolute function that is abs the absolute function simply returns the absolute value of any number. So in other words, it will always return the positive value. So let's say we have a number that is minus 8. And if we pass this minus 8 value in this absolute function, and if we print it, it will return the positive 8 value because the absolute value of minus 8 will be 8. Another function that we can use is pow function or the power. So it takes two parameters. So let's pass 2 and 4. Here we are passing 2 and 4 in this pow function. So it will return 2 to the power 4 so if we try to print it it returned 16 because 2 to the power 4 is 16 it can be useful to calculate some complex numbers so let's say if you want to know the value of 114 to the power 5 then we can get the calculation pretty quick. So that's the POW function. And actually we can also use the math module, which is a built-in module in Python. So what we can do is we can import the math function. So from math, import everything. So import asterisk means import everything that is in this math module. Okay. So from this math module, 
we can use the sqrt function which will return the square root value so square root of 25 if we print it then it should return the square root value of 25 that is 5 okay now as you can see it printed the value in a float format because we have 5.0 so if you want to get the value in the integer format you can either use the round function which will convert the float value into integer or you can simply use the int function or int function it will also convert the decimal values or the float values into integers so if we run this we will still get 5 and just like we used int function we can also use float function to change the integer values into float values so let's say if we print 5 then it will simply print the 5 in the integer format but if you want this value in the float format that is 5.0 then we can use the float function and now if we run this it will return 5.0 okay now in this math module we have floor function and then seal function or ceiling function so these two functions are basically for the decimal numbers or the float values and both of them converts the float value into integer value but they both have a different approach so let's say we pass 3.7 in both of this function now 3.7 is a positive decimal value and for the positive decimal value the floor function will return the integer value by simply ignoring this decimal point value so it will just return 3 and this seal function will also ignore the decimal value but it will add plus 1 in this non decimal value so it will print 3 plus 1 that is 4 so in this particular example floor is going to return 3 and seal is going to return 4 so if we print this we can see the floor returned the same number and the seal returned the number plus 1 but if we change this into negative decimal value now the seal function will return the same number that is minus 3 but the floor function will add plus 1 to this value that is 4 and returns the negative value so 3 plus 1 is 4 and the negative value of 4 is minus 4 so if we run this the floor is returning minus 4 and seal is returning minus 3 which is the same number so it might be a bit confusing in the beginning but it's a really simple logic here if you try to use this function for different values by yourself then you will get the good understanding of how these two function works so these are some of the basic and important built-in functions for integers in python you can research about this math module to know about some more built-in functions that we can use in integers but for this video we just looked at some of the used functions for integers and that's gonna do it for this video i'll see you soon with the next video till then Keep learning. Goodbye.